It's already time for another Blu-ray update, and why is that? Well, because it's after Christmas, and I've bought a few things with the remainder of my Christmas money, but not much really, so it's quite a small update. But anyway, before I get onto that, trying to make things quick, um, I recently got some uh, clear Blu-ray cases um, from work, and so I thought I'd try them out in a few of the films I already own. So here we have Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind with a clear cover. Take the sock cover off, looks like that. It's kind of cool. Um, I I might change this one actually. I don't think the the clearness suits the color of the cover, but I do think it works very well with this one. Edward Scissorhands, very cool. Whenever I get Moonrise Kingdom, I'd like to do this with it because Moonrise Kingdom just needs to feel more special than a normal edition. And uh, yeah, looks kind of cool. You know, makes things a bit different. Well, I got the idea from the Black Swan uh, case, which comes with a clear a clear case, and that's pretty cool. And now on to some films. Uh, first one, I've got a couple of Blu-rays from CEX, which I don't really do, but um, they were films that were very cheap and I wanted to see, so I thought, why not, let's go for it. First one is, uh, and I'm going to replace this case as well, because this little sticker smudges all over it, but No Country for Old Men, starring uh, Tommy Lee Jones, Javier Bardem, and Josh Brolin, a Coen Brothers film. Um, I hate the disc rails around. Um, yeah, I absolutely love this film, always wanted to see it, and it was fantastic. The last half hour I wasn't a fan of, but the first hour and a half of this film are absolutely amazing. Absolutely love it. Loved it. Uh, the next one was weird. They, they had loads of copies of it, and they were all um, £8, and then this one was exactly the same, but it was £3. So I bought that one, obviously, and it is The Muppets. And uh, the reason that it was £3 actually was because it didn't come with a Blu-ray. Okay, it did, but um, I'm thinking maybe it was because the case is actually snapped there. And it's actually it's come through there and there's a break there. I don't know if actually, I haven't checked if the, yeah, the actual um, thing is ripped as well a little. Which is a shame, but really, in the grand scheme of things, not a problem, because... I uh, have had waiting here for like, I don't know, nine months or something, the Muppets Metal Pack. I got this online uh, when it came out and it's just an amazing metal pack. All the uh, the letters there are embossed. It's a really nice um, image of all the Muppets there and it carries over onto the back. It's a really nice inside artwork as well. And yeah, so I just put it in this and I watched it, the film for the first time and it was not what I was expecting. I enjoyed it a lot. It was. It was too childish for my taste at the time I watched it. Um, not my taste, my mood, sorry. Um, sorry, the lighting's probably quite bad. I just saw my face and it looked really dark. Sorry about that, I've got crap lighting to deal with, what can I say? Um, but yeah, it was really good, I enjoyed it a lot, but it just felt like it was a... It, it, I don't know. I enjoyed it a lot, I'd give it probably like a 7 or an 8 out of 10. We'd definitely watch it again, it's definitely a film I'd like to show to my kids, that kind of thing, but... Uh, I didn't love it as much as I thought I would, and um, I think it's because I, I never really loved the Muppets films, like, to an obsessive degree, you know, I, I loved, loved watching them, but I never kind of, I can't even remember ones that I have watched, you know, I remember the Treasure Island one, the uh, the Christmas Carol one, of course, and there's uh, one of the earlier ones that I used to watch a lot, I think it was one where they, they got married, Kermit and Miss Piggy, but, you know, I enjoyed it a lot, and I'm sure if I was, if I'd gone back and watched all the old films, there's probably references and stuff in there that you know really pleases Muppet fans, but uh, the main character in it was really cool though. The um, the main new Muppet character, I forget his name, is it Gary. Um, he was really cute. I liked him a lot. Uh, next up from uh, CX, and I'm going to keep this like this because the case is in perfect condition, and it is an amazing film. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. One of my all-time favorite comedies. Would have to be definitely top three favorite comedies of all time. I'd have to say. Uh, just just a brilliant film and the special features are amazing we get like a, a full hour worth of documentaries in high definition about John Hughes which I haven't watched yet um, but this is just uh, the amount of times I've watched this film it is amazing Steve Martin, John Candy two guys thrown together you know uh, to travel you know across the across the across America uh, to get home in times of Thanksgiving by uh, by you know via plane and via train and via cars and 
all the stuff that ensues is just amazing. I could watch it any day of the week, twice on Sunday, three times on Sunday, in fact, because it's that good, it's that funny, and I've got that scene, that scene memorized, you know, the fuck scene. I, <sighs> I must have watched it about 20 times when I was about 11 just to memorize the, uh, you know, the thing. <laughs> I could do a great impression of that whole scene. It's just, uh, uh, yeah, awesome film. And next up, we have another edition of The Dark Knight Rises. Oh yes, I got the digi book, the uh, the Batman Bane digi book from uh, Target. Very cool. Love this. The thing I didn't like, and again, not to be pedantic, but um, there was a, a J card, you know, and it a J card across here, and it's left kind of like a just a line. You can kind of see it. It's just like a, a grubby line all the way across the top. It kind of bugs me, really. But I got this really cheaply, considering how much it was going for on eBay. And, you know, this was from Christmas money again, so... I actually got the three main editions, the main special editions of this film. Um, without actually spending anything, <laughs> all Christmas stuff. So, this is really cool. I'm going to make a video about this and all the other, other editions I own in full. And what actually comes with this is... Um, you get two discs there, disc on the front there, and then on the inside we get um, what they call extras, which isn't really extras, it's just a few things, and we actually get a comic book of the prologue with Bing, which is really cool, and features some alternate dialogue, which uh, anyone who's read the uh, the, the novelization of this film will know the alternate dialogue, you know. Um, let's try and get an example for you now. Um, with Bane, that's one that stood out when he first, uh... Always wondering why someone would shoot a man before throwing him out of an aeroplane. <laughs> Who we are does not matter. What matters is our plan. Really cool. And this, this comic came with the Japanese steelbook. But the Japanese steelbook was not like the white steelbooks that they got for Batman Begins and the Dark Knight. They were, uh, it was just the same steelbook that the whole world has gotten. Same design, the, the Batman broke a mask and it came with the comic book. And I was like, oh, I want that comic book. But the fact that it was in this is awesome. Of course, it's the first ever lenticular digibook. Nothing special, they've literally just glued the lenticular card on front of the, <laughs> the digibook. But really happy to get that, you know, obviously. I'm a huge fan of that film. And then finally we have another digi book. I got this from my uncle, uh, which is really cool because I've got a Christmas present from him for years. And then out of nowhere I got this, and it is Spartacus, one of the Universal 100th Anniversary uh, Collector Series digi books. Never seen this film before. I wanted to see it because it was a classic, because it was a Stanley Kubrick film, even though it's not really a true Stanley Kubrick film. He was kind of just brought on to, to finish it. And uh, lots of really cool stuff in this digi book. Lots of, lots of information and uh, cool pictures and that. I really enjoyed this, we watched this on Sunday and uh, probably a bit too long for me. I mean I love long films but there was a lot of Romans just discussing stuff. <laughs> Not of Spartacus but overall it was great, a uh, really powerful film. And quickly before I leave, um, I've got some books. Uh, the first one here is, I don't know if I showed this in another video, I might not have, but The Further Adventures of an Idiot Abroad. Um, Carl Piltonton's fourth or fifth book. Um, I have all of them now, and um, this is by far the thickest, it is huge, and this kind of encompasses the second series mainly, and a bit of the third series, or the third, you know, the specials. Amazing, I, I, <laughs> I keep bugging my mum just reading this stuff, because it's just, I'm just cracking up all the time. And there's a great little map there called Carl's World, and it shows you everywhere he's been to throughout all three seasons and stuff, and amazing, lots, lots of pictures, and... You know, stories, and just, it's amazing, really cool. I was actually going to get this with a, a book voucher I had for Christmas, and it was £20 in store, so I could get £15 off it and pay £5 for it. Then I went down to um, Tesco, and they were selling it for £8, which with my discount uh, was then uh, almost £7. And then I had some Christmas vouchers, and then I got it down to about £2. So, there you go. <laughs> So what I did get with my Dudley Smith voucher was dun 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 Total Recall, my unbelievably true life story. 
I can't do a good Arnold Schwarzenegger impression, but um, yeah, really thick book. Of course, you've got the Terminator on the back, and uh, I look forward to reading this and, and delving into this, but I'm currently reading The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo, so it'll be a while before I get around to it, but I'm um, really happy to get it for, you know, for nothing. <laughs> And that is about that. What can you expect next on my channel? Been a bit sparse on videos the past week or so because I've been just concentrating on vlog videos. But if you're one of those people and you've kept watching this video till the end, you'll be happy to know that it is time. I'm going to revisit the Harry Potter Odyssey. Prisoner of Azkaban review coming soon. Thank you for all the messages, people who are asking me when it's going to be returning. It'll be returning soon, within the next couple of days either on the weekend or over the weekend. So thank you for watching and uh I don't know why I don't know why I did that. I wonder I wonder why people were like, oh we can do this with our with our mouths. It's been one of those days, I apologize. Um I'll just say bye. Yeah, he's really cool. <laughs> but he's not quite as cool as you, because... <laughs>